This guide goes through setting up production printing, duplicate dockets and split dockets for the counter app printing method and the intelligent print server printing method. To start with, we'll go through how to do all of this with the counter app printing method. First thing you need to make sure of is that production printing is set to printer slash item specific so that you can assign different items to print to different printers. You've got all of your printers set up, so all you need to do to make sure that certain products are printing to certain printers for the purpose of production is to click this little shopping cart here, this is my coffee printer, and assign categories or individual products to this particular printer and press save. Now anytime I sell a coffee product, that product will print to the coffee printer. I can do the same for my kitchen printer here. Choose a few categories. Now if someone orders a coffee and a pizza, the pizza will print in the kitchen and the coffee will print to the coffee printer which might be next to the coffee machine. Likewise I have a pass printer here that might print a docket to let service staff know what's coming out. The next thing we'll go through is how to print the same docket twice from a single printer. The first thing we'll do is add printer. Now you need to make sure the name of the printer is the same as the printer you'd like to print two dockets, however with a two after it. So we can see in our list now we have coffee printer with an IP address and coffee printer two with the same IP address. So to print two identical dockets from the coffee printer, all we need to do is select the same items we've selected in our first coffee printer in our second coffee printer. In this case, coffee. The counter will recognize these as two separate print jobs and it'll print from this coffee printer, the same IP address, two dockets listing all of the coffee products for production. There's a very similar process if we're looking for the same printer to print two different types of dockets. The only thing we need to do is with our second printer, we need to make sure we've ticked different items. So with this second coffee printer, instead of ticking coffee, I might tick food. So if someone orders something from the coffee category and from the food category, the coffee printer, printer with IP address 201, will print the coffee orders, cut that docket, and then print the food orders. So you have a really convenient way to print two separate dockets from the same printer. The process is quite similar for the intelligent printer, which we'll go through now. The first thing I'll do is delete my coffee printer here. So we're starting at the same point. Then flick over to intelligent print server and hit save. Now with the intelligent print server, you don't print to IP addresses, you print to printer names. So as long as your printer names are correct, allocating your items to the individual printers is exactly the same as with the iPad app method. When it comes to doing two identical dockets or two different dockets from the same printer, things get a little bit more complicated. So what we need to do is we need to add a printer and the printer name needs to be exactly the same, capitals and all, as the printer, you're looking to print two dockets. However, after that printer name, you need to put a pipe symbol which is this symbol here, a big long line up and down. It's usually shift backslash and then a two, for example, and then add this printer. Now we go into our basket and assign the same products if we're looking for an identical docket. So exactly the same docket printed twice, which is just our coffee products here, which we've already seen done in the iPad app printing method. Or if we're looking for two different dockets from the same printer, we do the same process, same printer name with the pipe symbol and the number two or number three. You can do this as many times as you'd like dockets from the same printer. However, we change what we select. So likewise, in the previous example, if your customer orders a coffee and a food item, the coffee will print from the coffee printer. It will then cut that docket and then print out a food docket and then cut that docket. So again, a really convenient way to print two separate dockets from the same printer, whether they be two different types of dockets, two identical dockets, or you're just setting up basic production printing where you have different items printing from different printers around your venue. If you have any other questions about production printing, please email our support team at support at counter.com.